All right. There's a lot that we need to talk about and stuff that I've put off. Oh, I've put off a lot of stuff. That's what I'm trying to say. But the thing I'm really trying to say is that I'm sorry. I am really sorry. Um, I've been lazy. I haven't done anything productive. Now, you're probably like, what? Whoa, 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 Fade. Wh wh where's this coming from? And now, there's just a lot that I want to say and a lot that I haven't really addressed. So let's start from stage one and work our way up. Now, when I said that I wasn't doing anything productive, I was kind of lying. I've still been somewhat animating, you know, and recording a lot of game videos. The problem is, though, is that I don't do anything with those. Like, you know, with those videos or stuff like that. Like, most times out of 10, what I do is I record a video and then I either splice it and just leave one part off and then just never continue it again, or I just don't even edit it at all. And I think that's a really bad idea. Now, obviously, there will be times where, you know, the workload is too much and I have to just cut up, you know, everything down and stuff, you know, since the, the video recording process for me is a bit wild since first I have to record, then I have to take the audio file of my voice and put it on Audacity, then I have to go through it, and if it's way too long, like a 30 to 1 hour video, then sometimes Audacity could really crash on me, and I would have to cut it down to like around 15 minutes or something. And so, then I export it, then I go in and edit the video, and then I cut, uh, go off, then I add memes and stuff, and then adjust it a little bit, and then I upload it. So, it's a bit tedious, but it works at times, so. Now, as I said before, I felt lazy. I felt like I haven't done anything, not even in just like, you know, um, video work, but in life as well. I just feel like I just haven't really pushed myself at all. And now, again, you're probably asking yourself, where did this come from? And it's because of Corey. Now, many of you probably don't know, but Cory Extension is my favorite YouTuber by far. Like, he is the main inspiration for why I've done this in the first place. Like, obviously, there are other things like Dragon Ball Z, which Dragon Ball Z is definitely a big inspiration on my channel as well. But Cory is literally the main force on why I've wanted to do a channel. And he was announcing his retirement before, and he finally made a video talk. And I don't want to say finally, because I feel like, <laughs> I, I, like that's just me. I feel like that's me. But um, he comes back, and you know, he talks about why you know his retirement and stuff like that. And for those that want to watch it, uh, skip. All right, I'll put like a timestamp on where uh, we'll I'll talk about other stuff. So if you want to watch it for yourself, go watch it. I don't know when this video is going to go out. I hope that I can upload this by today. Alright, Lenovo Vantage, you're going to need to leave me alone. But he said that he wasn't going to be retired. In fact, he was still going to be continuing YouTube, and on top of that, pushing himself to his limits by going back to school, doing YouTube while doing school, and making another channel, trying to get that channel to 10 mil, and then trying to get the main channel to 25 mil. And, you know... Then, you know, he was talking about how, you know, um, time and stuff and how it was really important that even though it may look like, you know, things are too hard, you shouldn't really give up and how you should push your limits. And that's something I haven't been doing, like, at all. Like, I haven't even listened to my upload schedule of, what, uh, like, a video per week, which a video per week should be fairly casual. Like, but I just haven't been listening to myself. And I've been streaming a wee bit, but even then I've stopped streaming for quite a while, like a couple of days now. So, yeah. And on top of that, I haven't even uploaded any of the main projects I've wanted to do for a long time. And there are reasons as to why those projects have taken a long time, and uh, you guys deserve to know. So, Here's what we're going to do from now on. Um, I'll tell you guys what's going on with the projects that I've been working on for quite a while. Then we're going to get into what I will be doing for the later future and stuff. So, um, yeah. First, the J Fanta 
finale. This is a really hard thing to do, and it's something that I've been thinking about for quite a while. And um, so recently, um, there's been a lot of, not a lot of, but some drama, quote unquote, in the J Fanta server, which the J Fanta server was the main reason why I even started the, the anime in the first place. And so, you know, and everything's been going back and forth, and uh, unfortunately, I really don't even talk in there anymore. It's just not really fun to at the moment. So, what I've decided to do. Uh, I'm still somewhat deciding in my head, but basically, I might have to cancel the J Fantasies. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. <laughs> Canceling the J Fanta series? Are you insane, dude? What's wrong with you, man? Like, uh, come on, bro. Like, what are you doing? Um, I'm sorry for that. I don't, I don't know where I was going with it. But yeah, the main reason why I want to do J Fanta anime is because you know it's been a lot of fun with friends and showing them how the anime has progressed from just a random joke opening to like a full animated series. And you know, now that the J Fanta server is you know not really the greatest at the moment and. You know, a lot of things have come to light, it's like, I don't really have fun doing it anymore. It's like, I've thought of a lot of ways how I could animate this and how I've written down multiple scripts, uh, write, wrote down multiple, like, plans and plot stories for revamped episodes, and even gone so far as to, like, sprite different sprites for characters. Um, even making like a whole new transformation for Josh, but it just isn't fun anymore. And I'm really sorry to tell you guys that, but I can't continue. Now, obviously, uh, I really do feel bad about like canceling the series. And now, don't think of it as like a permanent cancellation, but most of the plans I've had like revamped episodes or the movie is probably not gonna happen. At most, I'd say the finale is gonna happen soon. I'd say uh, I don't want to put a date on it because it's really not confirmed. Because I haven't worked on it in a long time, so um, due to just other stuff and again me being lazy. So basically, just like a really non not non-existent, more of a out of context date. I don't know. Just think of this as an estimation. Yeah, that's what I was going for. Maybe 2022. 2023. Those dates. Now, while again, I don't really feel like doing the J Fanta series anymore, that doesn't mean that when the finale finally comes out, it's gonna be half assed. I'm gonna try my hardest to, and I'm still gonna redo the scenes from before and try to make it into one really good, enjoyable finale so then everybody can. And after that, you basically think of the J Fanta series as done. Like, nothing's gonna be after nothing. It's just gonna be the finale, and that's it. The Anime Tournament of Power. This is going to be really hard to say, but unfortunately, we won't be able to continue this one as well. Um, I don't really have contact with the other researchers at the moment, and I just have another big project to do. So there's just way too much stuff going on, so I can't really do it. Obviously, this may seem like I'm being lazy, which I really do feel like I'm being lazy. But at this point, I just don't really feel like it would be very viable to do an enemy turn of power at the moment, especially since I already have something else similar to it, which I'll talk about later. If that's gonna be the next thing we'll talk about, I don't know. It's just. I, I just can't do it anymore. I'm really sorry about that. Now, the thing I was talking about before is Multi Melee, now known as Coded. Coded is our brand new series that me and a couple of guys are working on. You know, a new Versa series, wow, how new and unique, I know. But, you know, a Versa series has always been my dream to work on. You know, at the very least, just make crossover fights, because I thought crossovers were always just really cool. Um, Metal vs. Bass isn't the first episode, it's still gonna be an episode, don't worry, but it's, um, but the new first episode I think you guys will really like, it has two of the most, probably some of the most popular anime characters in history, and I, I'm just gonna say it, you guys will really love it. So, I'm gonna try and try and try to get the series out, so, I, I just really want, like, to push this out, because I've really always wanted to make a Versus series on my own. 
the multi melee remix uh Sonic vs Mario and Goku vs Naruto. I'm still gonna try to push those out. Don't worry, they're not deconfirmed or anything. I just haven't had time to work on them. Uh, or I guess I do. I just am again feeling really lazy. But you know, um, I'm gonna try to push this out as well. Um, I really want to remake the animations that really got me pop popping off since Sonic vs Mario has actually gotten a lot of views. Let me see how much views does it have now. I haven't checked it in so long. It's Sonic vs Mario, the first one got 2.2k views, which you know may not seem like a lot to a lot of people, but for me it is quite a lot. And Goku vs Naruto got 118 views, which is really insane as well. So. What's the plan from now on? My plan from now on is to upload once per week. I'm going to push and push and try to reach that goal. Daily uploads? Well, I don't know. I don't really feel like I could do daily uploads, but at the very least, I had one to three episodes like videos per week, you know? I think that's a good goal that I, I think I could really achieve if I actually just got off of my ass and started working. So, um, that's the goal that I really want to do as well. Uh, I want to do more collabs in the future. I did a collab with my friend Ghost, and unfortunately, I my dumbass decided to delete the footage because I wasn't paying attention to what I was deleting. Um, <laughs> even though it was a banger video, but yeah. If you want to see the collab, my friend Ghost already uploaded on his channel. It was a thumbnail contest. You go check it out. It's really funny. And he's a really good YouTuber, so. Uh, if you haven't really subscribed to him, please subscribe to him. He's a very, very good YouTuber. He deserves it. Uh, I'm gonna try to upload more game content as well, because gaming has always been my, like, magnum opus, I guess. Like, that's the main thing I've always wanted to do. Like, animating really it wasn't the main goal of mine, you know? Like, animating was cool, but gaming was always the main thing that I've wanted to do, and so... Uh, the main reason why I haven't really done a lot of gaming videos is because my laptop isn't the greatest, like, as you can tell. <laughs> so, you know, I've been doing a lot of animation videos, like speed animates and stuff, and I know a lot of you guys still like that content. Um, so I'll, I'll try to continue that in the future as, long as, as well as uh, other animations and stuff. Um, I will probably still continue the Naruto Storm review, uh, like, ranking all the games and stuff. I was originally gonna push it off, but now, since I wanna, like, make a lot of more content, I'll probably keep it in mind as, you know, time goes on and stuff. So, uh, yeah, make sure you keep an eye out for that. So, yeah. Now, will these all come in, like, this year? Probably not. Coded is definitely not coming this year. Um, but it, when it comes out, it, it'll definitely, like, shine, it'll, it'll definitely shine, that's all I'm trying to say. Naruto Storm Review will probably come out in 2021, uh, probably around a couple of months. I, I don't know when it'll come out, since I have, I'm starting to go back to school, so, um, but I'm still trying to push even though I have school. I don't want to make an excuse like, oh yeah, I have school, I have a lot of work. Um, I'm still gonna try and push my limits as best as possible, because you know, as Corey said, you don't have any limits, you know. And I ha and you have to keep that in mind. You shouldn't let something stop you. Like obviously, if like there's just way too much stuff that you have to do, and you know, there are important stuff in your life, you obviously should handle that stuff first. But just because something that happens in your life doesn't mean that you should just throw the other thing away, even like after that thing has happened, you know. And so I think that I've used a lot of excuses of, oh yeah, I've just been really lazy, or I've just been really, really sad. I shouldn't use those excuses. I think that I should still push, you know. Um, obviously, again, there are exceptions, you know, like depression um, and other things in your life. But those, I want to, you know, just really improve on myself. That's all I'm trying to say. So, yeah. In conclusion... Uh, I'm gonna be trying to push way more. A lot of the projects that I don't want to do will unfortunately just not happen. J Fanta will still happen, obviously just a finale as before. Amateur Power probably won't happen. I don't know. Uh, Coded, obviously you guys know what will happen as long as, as well as the remix. I'll be trying out also new other content like remaking old animations that I've liked uh, for a while. 
Um, the first one is going to be really cool. Uh, I'll test it out and see how it's going to work. I don't know how it will work, but um, you just have to see it for yourself. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, the Naruto Storm review is going to come back in gaming videos as well. Um, I'm going to try and really try because, again, as you guys know, my goal is 1,000 subscribers. So I think that if I really do try to hit it, as long as I really just push myself. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.